your weather authority. We warn you first. Good morning, everyone, and once again, what a beautiful sunrise in Odessa, provided by Ruth's by Nicholas Skytrack. We do notice we have the pinks, yellows, and oranges, and we have a lot of those high cirrus stratus clouds, and those high clouds indicate bad weather is coming. Monsoon rainfall, current temperature 79 degrees, thanks to those high clouds absorbing that infrared radiation, thus the heat. Now, those temperatures will be mild today, but we do have chances of rain. And and speaking of, we have our weather photo winner, thanks to my good friend Treasure Thacker, who took this really cool photo in northeast Odessa this past Sunday of a developing rain shower. Now, 15 minutes later, this is what happened to that cloud. It became much more lopsided, right? Now, why is that? Thanks to those upper level winds, we do see that we have those really high wispy clouds moving off in the direction of where the wind is blowing. That is thanks to, you know, again, those high upper level winds. And we like to call this uh, Turkey Tower. That's what us meteorologists call. So if you have any photos that look similar to this, make sure you send them my way as there could be similar photos as we do have quite a bit of rain showers this morning. We had some in Odessa and Midland with mostly cloudy skies. We also had some beneficial rainfall in southeast New Mexico along 285, but we do notice that there's even more beneficial rainfall in places like Big Bend National Park. So that is certainly good news as they do need the rainfall. They are still in moderate drought. Now we do have the warm and breezy conditions today, but we also have a chance of some thunderstorms and also a weekend cold front, which will bring down those temperatures with those gusty winds, especially as we head into the weekend and early next week as we do notice that the drought monitor is really abnormally dry conditions in Winkler County as I did mention moderate drought in Big Bend National Park and still moderate to severe drought in southeast New Mexico but with the incoming rainfall I do expect that these conditions will start to improve in the drought stricken areas as we do notice that those temperatures will be mild thanks to those storms 91 degrees that's my forecast high Five degrees below our average high of 96 degrees. So yeah, it does a year kind of without the summer and that's continuing as temperatures will be below normal at 71 degrees tonight with those local thunderstorms. So if you're traveling out and about later today, make sure that you have the umbrella because we have a lot of humidity coming in from New Mexico. That's the monsoon moisture. We have a lot of rain in the western basin. It's eventually going to start moving farther to the east as we head later this afternoon as we will have some morning drizzle which will dissipate and then fuel those chances of thunderstorms. Those yellows and oranges indicate strong thunderstorms. We are your local weather authority. We will let you know if any storms are severe. And another chance of rain showers as we head into tomorrow evening as high temperatures will be, again, below average, right around 90 degrees. So the first half of the day will be A-OK -okay to go into the pool, but we do have a chance of humid conditions. And again, rain showers later in the evening. But as we take a look at our seven day forecast, we do notice that those temperatures will continue to take a dip, especially during the weekend with our best chances of storms being on Sunday. And then temperatures remain mild with conditions slowly but surely drying out by the middle of the week.